My dear Virgos, I'm here today with a general reading for the sign of Virgo. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Virgo strongly in their chart. But my friends, it will not fit for everyone. Not every Virgo is in the same life template. Not every Virgo is going through the same experience. So um, it, it is impossible as we are all different ages. We are all different in different sections of our own chapters and sections of our own books. And um, um, even though this reading might not totally resonate for you, um, if you're called to listen to it, maybe there's something here that can help you in your journey forward. My beautiful friends, welcome into this space. Um, I welcome you just as you are in all of your beauty. Um, I'm glad you're here, and I look forward to the story that we bring forward for you, Virgo. Um, all right, Spirit, please help us understand what is here currently for this group of Virgo people. What is here currently in the energy, in the current energy for this group of Virgo people? Just here in the current energy for this group of Virgo people. What is this card? Queen of Swords. She didn't come out, but she certainly showed herself. Could be some kind of underlying, underlying or kind of hidden um, protectionary energy that you have. Current energy for the sign of Virgo, please. Current energy for the sign of Virgo. Current energy for the sign of Virgo. Three of Pentacles, beautiful. Current energy for the sign of Virgo. Death energy, tower energy. Current energy for the sign of Virgo. Six of Wands, what is going on here? Current energy for the sign of Virgo, please. Current energy for the sign of Virgo. energy for the sign of Virgo. Who I've got to breathe. Oh my gosh, I've got to breathe. <sighs> Current energy for the sign of Virgo. 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 What is Virgo stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Virgo stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Virgo stepping into in the next immediate future, please? What is Virgo stepping into? What is Virgo stepping into in the next immediate future? Guidance for Virgo, Virgo, please. Guidance for Virgo, please. Guidance, please, for Virgo. Guidance, please, for Virgo energy. Guidance, please, for Virgo. Ooh. Guidance, please, for Virgo. Very strong energies here, Virgo. Very strong. Here you are. You're here. You're here and you're making some kind of a comeback. This is a comeback story. Comeback, kid. <sighs> this is a comeback story. You're in some kind of revival or re rejuvenation energy. You're getting back onto your feet again. There has been something here that's transpired. Um, some major change happened in your life. And, you know, for some of us, this could have happened years ago. Mm, but for many of you, this was not years ago. This was last year or the year before. Something in recent history that you have gone through here um, that has created some kind of a major transformation, major, tra major transformation. Whatever this tower was, it took everything from you. It took everything from you. The Ten of Pentacles is here. So it took your comfort. It took your safety. It took your abundance. It took everything. But as it took everything, it gave you everything. It gave you something brand new. Um, it, it gave you, it, there's, a tra there's a new birth here. There's a new power here. Eight of Wands. 
Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. There's a new power that's blossoming up in you. It's not even blossoming. It's it's welling up in you. It is, they're showing me a, like a volcano. But the lava isn't coming out the top. Nobody can see that there's lava building in this volcano. But there's lava building. It's bright red. It's passionate. It's yellow and red. And it's passionate. It's hot. It's fiery. It's powerful. And it's building in the base of this mountain. Um, and so there's something you're powering up here. I can see that you have something that you're working on here with the Three of Pentacles. So the cards that I have here are the Three of Pentacles, the Death Energy, Scorpio Energy, the Tower Energy, the Eight of Wands Energy, the Knight of Pentacles in Reverse, moving to the upright. It's on its way to the upright. Ten of Pentacles here, kind of setting back, getting back into order here. So you're rebuilding with the Seven of Swords in a kind of reflectory um, position. So reflector, but ref, what is, what am I saying? This is reflection, reflection and new movement in a different direction. Okay. So let me start again. <sighs> you're rebuilding something. You're at a place now where you have something tangible that you're working on. Three of Pentacles. You're have something, having something that you're working on. Uh, something that you're creating, it's in the initial stages, but you have managed to, you have managed to build something, to create something. It's at the three. The three is having it to hold in your hand. Maybe not a whole lot. Maybe not what you're wanting. Maybe not enough to get to the 10 of pentacles, but it's something. It's something. It is, um, exciting. It's optimistic. It's, it's giving you something back. It's beginning to give you something back. Maybe not a lot but it's something and it's exciting and it brings you to a new place financially or um, how you feel with your feet on the ground. So there's something here that's helping you ground, that's helping you feel steadied, there, that's helping you feel settled into this. You're settling into this new role or you're settling into this new job or to this new relationship. There's a settling in here, all right? So you're working very steadily here um, to create something new for yourself. And this has taken a while now. It's taken a little bit of time to get this going. Um, but we do see you coming in now with a very, um, whatever this is that you've been working on, you're, you're, you're creating it, you're manifesting it. It's beginning to start moving for you now. The Knight of Pentacles moves very slowly, but it is your energy, Virgo. It is a natural element for you. Look at all the Pentacles here. This is about rebuilding yourself, recreating a foundation, recreating stability in your life, recreating comfort and stability and financial wealth or financial freedom. So this is about your third dimensional experience, how stable you feel, how, um, how much money you have, how safe you feel with money, how safe you feel within the home, how safe you feel in your third dimensional journey. Um, and we see this beginning to start moving now. So you're starting to see some kind of incorporation of success now into whatever this path is for yourself. Um, we do have the Ten of Pentacles here sitting right on top of the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel for many of you, this recovery, whatever this was, maybe this is a short-term situation for you because we are looking at very short-term situations. Some of you listen to these readings and they apply to like an epic life story. And some of you listen to these readings and it applies to something more specific, more short-term, more of a short-term situation. So whatever this is for you, um, there is a short route to success here. So I think whatever this is that has knocked you off, um, you have now this volcano, this fire, this passion within you that's helping you to glide directly into success with the Ten of Pentacles. It might not be all the wealth that you need or all the abundance that you need, but it does come with a degree of stability and comfort and protection that helps you really feel the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is different for everyone. The Ten of Pentacles is different from a, for a billionaire than it is from someone living in poverty. It's different. It's a different amount of money. It's a different amount of assets and liabilities, but the feeling is the same. The feeling is the same. A billionaire can feel like his foundation is crumbling just as easy as someone living in poverty. It's the feeling. It's the experience. So whatever this is for you, there is a new feeling of comfort and stability starting to approach here. Um, you're getting your foothold 
Um, you're getting, you're building your foundation here that you're going to stand on, that you're going to build your house on. Um, you're slowly building it step by step and you're starting to see it coming together. Ultimately, this is, this is talking about making some kind of revision here for some kind of theft or betrayal or something that happened here connected to this tower that has sent you in another direction. It was a direction you never thought you'd go in. It was a direction that you never thought would occur to you or that would happen to you or that would be a part of your story, but it has sent you forward in a, in a, in a new powerful way. And you're starting to beginning you're starting to begin to open the door to a beautiful new life ahead for you that might be way more free, way more lucrative, way more abundant than what you had before. It is a transformation here. It's a transformation connected to a major catastrophe, a major cracking of your foundation, betrayal, theft, continual theft, continual betrayal, something here with the seven of swords. But that is what's moving you forward. That is what's helping you fuel your engines with the eight of wands. Um, you're, you're active now, you're busy, you're communicating, you're getting things done. It's a very positive energy. You're working hard. You know where you're going. You know where you've been. And I, I think that you know that you're on the edge of something quite powerful and beautiful and comforting and stable and perhaps quite abundant for yourself. All right, let's move into the next immediate energy that you're going to be stepping into. The next immediate energy that you're going to step into. The next immediate energy. All right, we have the Six of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. Damn, you guys. Nine of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh, the High Priest. What? Virgo. Um, you might want to go out and buy the champagne, buy the confetti, be prepared to have a party, be prepared to celebrate because there is a great victory here for you. Now, of course, victory is different for everyone. Victory for a billionaire is different than victory from someone who's living in poverty, but it is a victory, no doubt about it. No matter where you are, in what demographic, in what you live, what country, what you in, ooh, I can't hardly talk. The energy is just out of this world. I can't hardly talk. I just want to sit back and I just want to put my hands in my head and I just want to let the tears fall. That's what I want to do. Because it's freaking beautiful. No matter what country live, you live in, no matter where the rains come or where the sun shines, no matter where, there is victory here. No matter if we're talking $500 or a million dollars or whatever, it's victory. So take it, claim it, receive it, live in it, enjoy it. It's here. You've attained it through hard work. My hand wants to reach down to this nine of pentacles. I want to hold it in my hand. And it's next to the wheel of fortune as well. Financial freedom. What did you do, Virgo? Did you start your own business? Did you get another job? Did you do something very incredible in your work or in your relationship or within your family? Because what we have here is success. We have nine of pentacles energy over the top of six of wands. So you took responsibility. You stepped out in a new way. You showed yourself as you, as you truly are. You took a risk. You did something out of passion, out of fire, the will to change the world, the will to change your life, the passion to step into a new frontier, and you created something successful. And this is powerful. This is seen by the community. This is seen by your family. The Six of Wands is an energy that's not hidden. It's an energy that's seen, and it's an energy that's celebrated. It is a party, and it is a party about you. Not only is it a party about you, but it's a party about all the accomplishments that will come thereupon, thereafter. Ooh, it's a strong energy. I don't want to shout at the microphone, but it must be the volcano erupting. 
And never did we imagine when I was talking about a volcano that it would have, that it would erupt in confetti. <laughs> I never imagined it. For the life of me, I never imagined it. But it's confetti. It's celebration. Here's a three of cups. Celebration. Joy. So this next few weeks, whatever this is, I, I don't know if it's going to be a town party, a town celebration. You're winning some kind of major award here. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a celebration you have within yourself. You know, the most, prof oh, for some of you it is. Oh boy, I've hit on something. Um, for some of us, when we go through these types of, of, of journeys that are hard, that are so very difficult, that have so many rough nights and rough days, and we, we find our successes, Virgo, sometimes the most profound parties are those that we have in the quiet within ourselves. Ooh, I want to cry. The gratefulness that we have, the appreciation that we have for what we've been given and for what we have done and for everything that's in our world. It is a party with, if it's within your own self or if it's within the community or within the family, there is an award being given. There is a gold star. There is a red or a blue ribbon here. And it could be given to you by your source energy, by your spiritual team. It could be done in the quiet. It could be done in quiet reverence. It can be given to you as you're sitting in the church pew by the God that you connect to, the source energy that you connect to. It can be an award that's given to you in front of a community or in front of a work department or in front of a town. Whatever it is, there's something that's being placed on you, an award a button, a pin, an accolade, a mention, a news article. There is success here for you, Virgo. Not only is there success, but there's fortune. There's momentum. There's new assets. There's new journeys. There's new money. There's new power. There's new momentum. The wheel has turned. A new journey has began. Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled. What the heck? <sighs> Kick up your heels, my friends, because you deserve to live light on your feet. You have trekked through a major journey. You have been through the valleys and over the mountains. You have trudged through the trenches. You have swam the rivers. And now you have entered into the land of victory, the land of success, the land of joy and happiness. Look at the high priest just sitting here with the queen of pentacles. This is you. This is how you accomplish this. You accomplish this with the connection that you have with the divine, the innate wisdom that you have accumulated throughout all of these years, all of these experiences the wisdom that you carry with you, the ability that you have to contain yourself, to reserve yourself, to be careful with the words that you say, that which you share, to be quiet when it's necessary to be quiet, to listen when it's necessary to listen, to connect in with your guidance energy, with source energy, whatever religion that you believe in, whatever you connect to that gives you strength and feeds you love, and feeds your soul. There is a powerful appreciation here in what you have attained. Ooh, it's powerful. It's special. It's divine. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles. The work, the tenacity, the per perseverance, the way that you have worked and struggled and continued on day in and day out, to get to the victory line. The details that you were forced to look at, the details that you were forced to live in. But my friends, it's your natural ability, is it not? That's what source energy does. It lets us live in our natural ability. But you have managed to find success continuing forward as the Queen of Pentacles energy, the backbone of this world, the backbone of this economy, the ability to implement, the ability to 
operate the ability to plan and to implement and manifest and bring together elements that are quite different. The Queen of Pentacles works hard to bring comfort and abundance into her world. She understands that without a platform, without a foundation, that she is not able to fulfill her dreams. And she works very hard to get to the place where she can feel stable and comfortable so that she can spread her wings and fly. And you have reached the place where you have began to spread your wings and fly, which means that you have reached stability. So for some of you, this is reaching stability. And for some of you, this is allowing your wings to fly. So whatever this is for you, this is a victory round. This is a victory lap. And here I am. I'm cheering for you. I'm, ex I'm experiencing this with you, even though you, if you're alone, if you're alone and experiencing something with your divine energy, I am here as well, because I get the pleasure and the honor of experiencing this with you. If your town is experiencing this with you, woo, it's such a strong energy, you guys. Ooh, it's so strong. If your town is experiencing this with you, I am among those people. It's so strong. Look at the six and the nine, infinity. Infinity. Look at the wheel of fortune on top of the three of cups and the six of, and the nine of cups, joy and celebration and wishes coming true. Wheel of fortune. I just, I mean, again, when I talked about the volcano erupting, it was a surprise that I never imagined when I was saying the words. And this is how beautiful life is. There are dark moments as the Seven of Swords. Look what this Seven of Swords has led you to. Look what it led you to. This is how we forgive. This is how we move forward and this is how we forgive. Because we can begin to see the blessings in the pain. Let's look at the guidance. Sorry, I gotta wipe my tears. Virgo. Oh my gosh. I usually um, don't lose it like this in my readings, but that was just, the energy was just really profound. Five of swords in the reverse. No more conflict. You're done with that now. You're done with that now. End of it. It's done. It's over. You fought the good fight and you found the victory. And now you're moving forward powerfully in alignment, understanding how to move forward in balance. Understanding where you get your source energy, how you nourish yourself. The importance of the horse's feet pounding on the earth and the energy that is comes up from that pounding of the earth, the feet and the earth. The sun energy, the heavens, all of that lover's energy. The internal balance, internal love, love energy, making choices, discerning, being careful, moving forward in a balanced way. There could be love ahead for you. There could be some revitalization in love. Whatever this victory is that you have, it could be a new love that's here for you. It could be a rejuvenation in love, a renewal in love, a life path that you love. There's something here that just has profoundly affected your heart center. 
and you're in balance. Look at these two balance cards here. Very balanced. What does balance do? It helps you make good choices. It helps you experience peace. It helps you feel love within yourself. It helps you move through the shadows and into the light. It helps you move through the canyons and over the mountains and through the, and through the seas and through the rivers. And then we have justice here. Again, another balance energy. Bam, this is all about balance and victory and success and equality. That's what this is. Look at every energy here. Where this wasn't balanced, this change energy, now you have balance here. And peace and victory and success and strength and momentum. And what will the future hold, my friends? What will the future hold? Well, I'm anticipating something very beautiful because when you have these kinds of energies, you're walking with divine energy, you are firmly planted to the ground, and you are for moving forward in an energy of equality. And what we know is that what we focus on, we, we live. And you're focused on peace, you're focused on love, you're focused on equality, and you will most definitely find that throughout your journey moving forward. Because that is what you're seeing, that is what you're living, and that is what you're feeling. And you will continue in this journey moving forward. All right, my friends, I am going to move into the extended. That was a ride, a ride. That was a wild ride that I never expected. Let's dig deeper into some of these energies in the extended. Um, I want to dig into the Ten of Pentacles for sure. I want to dig into this Three of Pentacles, figure out if we can get more of what you're doing. I'm going to dig into the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, man, there's so many beautiful... What is this dream come true? I'll dig into this. You know what? I'm going to dig deeper into these energies. If I don't have time to look at all the people around you, I might not. I might only look at one or something. But I am going to look deeper into all of these beautiful energies. I just cannot. I cannot not. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do in the extended. I'm going to dig deeper. I'm going to see what's here, see if we can uncover some more stuff. I'm going to take a little break now as I move um, into the extended. For those of you that are satisfied with this reading, that makes me really happy. I'm glad you are. I'll see you back out on YouTube in another seven days or so. For those of you that are looking for more information, feel free to move to the extended and we'll dig deeper into these energies. Um, this has been kind of emotional. The extended might not be as long as they normally are just because um, the energies are, are just flowing and um, I don't know how long I can carry this kind of emotional state, um, but I'll see what I can do. All right, my friends, thank you all very much. This has been a beautiful, beautiful blessing for me to be in this energy. Thank you.